if you stream from your PS5, you know that you can only stream to both Twitch or YouTube directly from the console. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and stream to Facebook on your PS5 without the need of having to buy a capture card. Let's go ahead and dive in. Now, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get connected over to Facebook. Now, to be able to go ahead and follow along, you can do this on your mobile device, you can do this on a tablet, but I recommend you do this on a laptop or on a computer just for the initial setup. And then after you have the initial setup completed, you can do everything directly from your PS5. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come to your Facebook gaming page. If you don't have one, I'll put a link in the description of this video for you to be able to create one. It's gonna take you to a page just like this. Once you get logged into Facebook, you wanna go ahead and put in your streamer name or the name of your page. The very important thing that you need to do to be able to stream to Facebook gaming is under category, you need to go ahead and put gaming video creator. And then you just wanna make sure you put your bio, add a picture, add a banner, and get that all set up. Once you have it set up, you'll have a page just like this. On the left-hand side, we wanna go ahead and select Start Streaming. And that's gonna go ahead and bring you over here to the dashboard. And then you're gonna to come to the top right, select Set Up Live Stream. And now it's gonna say Welcome Back Last, and it's gonna say Go Live. And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and hit Select. That's gonna go ahead and bring us to a page just like this. That's gonna go ahead and give us the information that we need to be able to go ahead and stream. So you'll come up top, we're gonna to go ahead and select streaming software. And that's gonna go ahead and give us a stream key. So that's the first step that we need to go ahead and take. Next, on your computer, you're gonna to wanna to come to a website called aircast.app. This is gonna be the tool that we're gonna to utilize to be able to go ahead and send over our stream from PlayStation over to Facebook utilizing Twitch. So you'll be streaming on both platforms at the same time. Now, Aircast is not free. They do have two different plans. They have an essentials plan and a streamer plan, which is about three to six dollars a pound, or it comes out to about four to seven dollars USD. Now, I recommend you utilize the streamer plan. And no, this video is not sponsored by Aircast. This is just a tool that I utilize to be able to stream to multiple platforms directly from the console when you don't have a capture card or access to a nice PC. So this is going to allow you to be able to auto start. This is why I say that if you do the streamer plan, it's going to allow you to be able to control everything from your PS5 because once you go live on Twitch on your PS5, it's going to go ahead and push it live to Facebook and then it allows you to be able to stream to multiple platforms. So select the plan that you want, whatever the case is, you're going to get a 14 day free trial to be able to test it out and see if it's going to be right for you. Once you go ahead and create your account, you're going to be brought to a dashboard just like this. The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and select our stream input, right? This is going to be what we're going to send to Facebook. And again, we're going to utilize Twitch since that's what's available on the PlayStation 5. So we're going to select stream with Twitch. You're going to go ahead and authorize Twitch to gain access to Aircast. And once you have access, it's going to give you this option here. Now, this is the feature that I was talking about in the on the streamer plan, which it says auto start when your stream goes live. So I'm going to check that on. And then here, this is in beta experimental stream engine. Just go ahead and turn that on. And now what this means is that whenever I go live to Twitch on my PlayStation 5, it's going to send it to the platform that I select. And we're going to go ahead and set up Facebook now. So on the right where it says stream outputs, we're going to select add stream output. We're gonna come here and select Facebook and you can see that Facebook is only available on the streamer plan. So we'll select Facebook and then we can go ahead and name this my Facebook channel. That's just for you to be able to know. And then here's the stream key that we got from Facebook. So what you wanna do is you wanna come back to Facebook and you're gonna have the stream key. Now, before you copy the stream key, you wanna to come to where it says advanced settings and you wanna make sure this says persistent stream key. What this means is that every time that you go live, this key will stay the same, meaning you don't have to come back to the computer to input it again. So we'll go ahead and hit copy. Make sure you don't share that stream key with anyone because then that means they can stream on your behalf. You'll come here, paste it in there, and now you'll go ahead and hit auto start. And what that means is start this output when your stream is configured to auto start. And then you'll simply go ahead and hit save. So what we've done so far is that we went ahead and connected our PlayStation with Twitch and Aircast and Facebook. So what happens now is that when we go live to Twitch on our PlayStation 5, we're going to be live on Facebook automatically and we're going to be streaming to both platforms. Now, if you're a Twitch affiliate and you don't want to break terms of service, you can go ahead and create a separate account on Twitch. That's not the one that you utilize to be able to stream to, to be able to utilize, to be able to get you over to Facebook if you don't want to break terms of service. 
So let's go ahead and jump into the PlayStation so I can show you what this actually looks like, how it looks when we go live, so you know what the process is all about. So let's go ahead and jump into the PlayStation now. So once you've gone ahead and got everything connected, we're gonna come on our PlayStation 5 and we're ready to start going live. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and load a game. PlayStation does not allow you to be able to live stream if you're on the dashboard. So once you have a game open, you want to go ahead and hold the create button on your controller. It's going to bring up a menu just like this. You want to come to where it says broadcast. Now, if you have this set to YouTube, you can use these three little dots, hit change service, and then you're going to be able to go ahead and select Twitch. And then you just follow the on-screen prompts to be able to go ahead and get it connected. What you want to do is you want to click the three little dots and you want to kind of broadcast options. This is super important. You want to make sure that the video quality is at 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. That way you have the best looking stream on Facebook. So now you have that in place. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit go live. So while you're doing that, it's going to go ahead and say start broadcasting. So now it says that you're now live. So what we want to do is you want to come over to Aircast to make sure that the connection is all set up correctly. So on Aircast, you can see here that now I'm online on Twitch and I'm online on Facebook. So I'm streaming to both platforms at the same time directly from my console. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like on Twitch and what it looks like on Facebook. So on Twitch, you're gonna see that I am now live. So you can see here that we go ahead and have ourselves, we're live. You see that people are commenting and this is gonna be Hogwarts Legacy. So now we wanna go ahead and make sure that we're live on Facebook. So to be able to check that, we're gonna come back to our Facebook page. So when you come to back to your Facebook page, you're going to want to go ahead and come here to where it says edit details. And you're going to want to go ahead and put in a title and you're going to want to put in a description and description. You want to talk about what the game is about, maybe even share your other social links. But this is going to be required for you to go ahead and add in there. So you'll simply go ahead and hit save and then you'll go ahead and put the game that you're going to go ahead and be playing. And then you want to make sure that you come here to where it says audience settings. You leave this as public and then you hit save. So you can see here that now my video is playing. So what I simply want to do is I want to go ahead and hit go live. And now you're going to see here that now I am live and you can see here again that on Aircast I am also online and I'm now streaming. So you're going to see here directly on Facebook. I'm now live, my video is playing, and I'm live on Twitch as well. And now I can go ahead and run everything directly from my PS5. And just like that, you can now go ahead and stream to Facebook Gaming from your PS5 utilizing Aircast. Now, if you want to know how to stream to Kick on your PS5 utilizing the same method, go ahead and watch this video right here where I walk you step by step on how to stream to Kick on your PS5. I'll see you guys in the next video.